All right, how you doing? I'm really goddamn sad now. I don't do retakes, but stupid camera didn't record anything. Me and Anki, An Anki, I can't speak to Anki. I've got, I've got old timers. <sighs> we had a, me and Anki had a, a bit of a one of those oh, lovey gushy mushy moments. <sighs> but I'm having a great day so far. Great day so far. Exception, and I forgot the word exception. <laughs> that uh, I'm cripplingly lonely, and cripplingly lonely actually translates to I'm bloody bored because my children aren't here. <sighs> I've had two wonderful phone calls today. Not in any particular order. I got a phone call from my mum saying that she'd gone to see my friend. So she'd seen one of my friends in town today, and, and yeah, she's hoping I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a bit sick. Was yesterday, not feeling any better today. She's got chilli dog from Pete! Yeah. <laughs> Look, Eggie! You've chili. got chilli from dog from Pete, and then you've got a bucket of cakes from me from last night. Yeah! yeah. Look, look, hang on. Look, bucket of cakes. Look, cakes. And... I've got a f the dog's tired. And, and you've got food. Food. <laughs> Woof. A woo? No. Then she called me. Alright. Gave him a ding dong on my phone. And she was like, Who? And I was like, What? And she was like, Do you want a sandwich? Shut up, you, not you. Spun me. What about me? Not about you, what about me? I'll duff you up. I will. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you're such a cute wee dog, aren't you? Yeah, oh, I love you too. I'm shut up. I'm telling a story. Yeah, I am! It's about the time when Mama called and said, Do you want a sandwich? And I was like, Yes! And because I don't feel well. But then she said, Look, sandwich! And this is about where we got when the when the vlog died a minute ago. Yeah. And if you're vegan, turn away now. Because <laughs> that's the good bit. The dead bit. And the the advantage of animal bit. Yeah, that bit, I forgot about that. And, and I forgot other, vegans can't eat real food. Other advantage of animal bit. To be fair, I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, could I make myself a vegan sandwich? No. No. No, that'd be stupid. I was like, thinking about it, and I'm sorry, this is technically vegetarian, because I don't want ham in it. I don't feel up for the ham today. Mm. But you don't like veggies in your sandwiches, do you? No. I'm, so I'm right, almost completely against green stuff. I'll take the hit. Hang on, hang on. Da, 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 da. Excuse me. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Shut up, you. There you go. You've got such a soft, fluffy face. <laughs> You're cute. Fuck off, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> but you loud. She's evil. I to do the Kakashi. You almost lost your entire arm then. <laughs> like a windsock, love. <laughs> exactly, Charlie. <laughs> she is telling about the danger zone. <laughs> lay down. Stop your noise! Charlie, lay down. Is a banana come round with a hot dog for prick and nothing for me? What about me? You haven't had breakfast yet, have you? Oh, no, he hasn't. Sorry, mate. I starved him. I'm such a bad prick. Sandwich. And even after being fed, he's like, Mama, 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 what about me? Yeah, he's cute. What about me? Yeah, you start to smell like your spaniels again, aren't you? What about me? <laughs> You're not like a bloody old puff. Oh, what did you say? He smelled all. Oh, you smell like Perth. And clean. We like the old doggy smell of a spaniel. <laughs> we like the smell of the broads. <laughs> An old pond. Yeah. It makes you what you are, don't I? Stinky manual. Mm. Just in case anyone's uh, worried, and I'm sure you know, the dog no longer smells like a well-groomed man or a tart's handbag. 
he jumped in the broads. He is now very, um, he smells like a spaniel that lives near a big body of bleh, water. <laughs> Good times. Now, uh, Inky has headed off to work. So I'm now building no mates in it again with a tub of cakes and a chili dog, which I'm going to norm on in a minute. The dog has some meat strips. Ugh. And I got a delivery. See, if the first take of the vlog had actually survived, I'd have already told you that. I might have already told you that, I don't remember. But um, I had a delivery along with my chili dog. It wasn't from mum, the... Uh, 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 Amazon. It was from Amazon, but I can't remember the actual company the guy works for. But either way, nice guy. We know him. Um, <laughs> came and delivered this. A Clone Reliance 4KP with 4K pass-through. A lot of people complain this isn't a 4K capture card. It's a 4K. It passes through 4K and captures at 1080 60. This is a another USB-C Linux, USB-C, USB-3, oh it does have a USB-A to C cable, USB-3 UVC Linux compatible capture card. And we've tried stacks of the bloody things um, to try and find one that is relatively color accurate, will capture 60 frames a second and all that kind of stuff. And it's been hard finding, you know, if you want, if you want, reasonable priced um, and that only has an input like say an Elgato um, cam link or whatever where you don't want to see what's being captured or you don't want to you don't want to have a zero lag output uh, so like connect to a TV or whatever you just literally want to capture a feed to a computer um, these these are like uh, clone Magewell cards um, USB 3 capture HDMI, you can buy them for about 100 bucks online. Um, colors are pretty solid. Um, they don't have any software, they're just treated like a web camera. They work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, USB 3, 1080 60, um, even a little bit higher than that. Um, work a treat, and I use these all the time on my Linux streams. Okay? Uh, but, as I say, it's a, it's a single, it's a single doobry. It's just an input, there's no output on it, so I can't really have, because uh, there's always a little bit of lag, um, you can't have that running through, you can't have that running into a telly, just like passing through, so then you need to get this lot set up. Now, I admit, this isn't, uh, this isn't all required, but like, you need a splitter, so you need to take the feed that you had initially, and split it, one for your TV, and one for the capture card. You need power for it as well. So you have, you know, the regular HDMI cable and then one cable going out to your telly. And then an extra cable and the extra box and just, it gets really messy really fast. Just so you can have that kind of, um, you can have a, a feed directly from the device on your telly or whatever. So you can actually play the game. So if you're playing a shooter and it's got a delay, or um, you know a, a, a game where timing is important, like a fighting game or whatever, you're not going to be playing it off your monitor screen with like a, a 200 millisecond delay or whatever. It's, it's you're just not going to you're not going to do it. The timer's going to be completely screwed. You'd have, been, you'd have been beat the shit out of or shot before you even had the chance to react. Now I've tried, like I said, I've tried quite a few of these other cards because there's a lot of UVC USB 3 Linux compatible cards out there. And they all have various problems. I, th I think it might just be a USB chipset issue. But if you remember like some of the first ones we tried, which were only like 70 bucks, if you had like AGP tech cards and stuff like that, that looked very much like the metal one I just had in my hand, but they had an input and an output. When you captured with them, if you were running it at 1080 30, colors were pretty close to what you were trying to capture. But as soon as you moved it to 60, There'd be colour shifts, big colour shifts. So like, uh, if anyone remembers my Street Fighter 2 
test footage of uh, Ultra Street Fighter on the Switch, uh, uh, you know, Ryu had like, because I, I have trouble with colour anyway, um, like a, uh, uh, he'd have like a whitish face, he would go like a yellowy colour. Ken would wear a, go from wearing a red gi, or like a piercing coloured gi, to like this really crushed orangey colour. Um, they looked horribly sharpened in that, and that's just by changing the frame rate, the colour space would just completely change, you know. Um, and it was really, it was obvious, if I could see the colour change, it was, it, it, then everyone else would be able to see it. Uh, we tried um, variants of that card, including the one that we got recently that I sent back within a day when DeWald was here. Um, and they just all had the same issues. You'd change the frame rates, and it would change how the colours looked. And that's not how a capture card should work. If you change the colour space, the colours should change a bit, but not, not if you change the frame rate. So, these don't. Elgato's don't, Magewell's don't, you know, so trying to find another one with an input and an output uh, has been awkward. I have plenty, I've got like the best of the best, or the best of the best on the Windows side of things, but I want something for Linux. And so that's where the, the, the Flint 4KP, that was it, the, the um, what the hell do they call it again, the company? Clone Reliance. Clone Reliance Flint 4KP comes in. This magical little box that happens to be out of focus because for some reason we're focusing on the HDMI cables at the back and not the wires at the front. Um, this is interesting actually. It's UVC compliant. It uses USB A to C. Uh, so it connects at the front. You've got input and output on the back. Alright. And uh, it doesn't really matter if it's in focus. And you've got um, uh, mic in line in and line out inputs at the front here for audio um wow that is pretty hot i will say but initial testing has been pretty sodding good does it do 1080 yes does it do 60 yes do the colors shift nope um, and I actually also found out that uh, cause I was doing tests, they weren't side-by-side -side tests to be honest, they weren't A-B tests, it was literally I'd do a fight, record it in like, record Gal a Galro fight or a Street Fighter fight, record one with this and then move on to using this. Um, turns out this may not have actually been um, <coughs> completely honouring that I was trying to capture a, a limited range um, input meaning like color, you can either have full range or limited. I always set everything to limited. This may not have actually been um, honoring the setting that I'd given it. Because um, there were some details that were being shown on the stream that I weren't seeing on my television set. And when I set this to match limited, um, the, the, the detail was exactly the same as what was on my telly, but not like what was on here. And then when I set this to full range, the detail was there. So, um, yeah, all in though, so far at this point, it works a treat. I'm gonna do a little stream with it in a bit. Um, it's more expensive than the other ones, to be honest. It was 145, I think. But we're gonna do a bit more testing. This so far is gonna be one of the best Linux capture cards I've used up until however long. The more affordable kinds, you could buy a Magewell for like 300 bucks or whatever, but. Um, input and output are a must at this point, just to shrink down the setup, because we are running on a cheapy low-end laptop. Um, yeah, just remember, these, this will work on Windows, Mac and Linux as well. So, yeah, what was I saying? Stuff, good, testing, doing, chili dog. Chili dog. Oh, hello. Which way are we? Oh no, it's upside down. Sadness. Oh, I'm losing my cheese. Chili dog, no! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll just numb you like that. Pete of Sizzlers makes really good food. Anyway, <laughs> just quickly, one, one more thing about that cash card, actually, because I think I would have mentioned it take one of the vlog. Um, I found that card on Reddit. 
There was uh, a chap, I was just like, you know, Linux UVC capture cards in DuckDuckGo, or Google, whichever you prefer, and there was a post. I don't use Reddit, I can't use Reddit, it just annoys me. I've tested five Linux, uh, five Linux compatible capture cards, these are my results, and he came up with the, came to the same conclusion as I did for the most part, that most of the cards that are being sold as Linux compatible and UVC compliant are crap. You know, that they either don't have, there's a chipset issue or a bandwidth issue or something whereby the, the colors just don't match up, colors are darker, they can't capture 60 frames a second like they claim they can, um, you know, just they're really picky and just don't work. Of course, obviously you've got the higher end stuff like the, the mage wells, again, that like between the two, three, four hundred pounds plus, you know, professional end gear. But he ran through the test. I'd heard of that card before, I'd say I don't remember where, but this guy, I'd always, I always hear these things, oh yeah, works on Linux, works on Linux, Linux compatible, Linux compliant, and then they don't actually work properly, or they're lacking features if you run them on Linux. The guy just it had that one tested, said, yep, fucking, I'll give this one a 9 out of 10, versus all the other cards that I've tried on Linux at this point. I was like, well, there you go, another Linux user has tested it, I'll give that one a go. I'll take a punt on that, and they're right. And, apparently, it strips HDCP, so if you've got something with HD, uh, HD copy protection, like a PS3, that'll capture that. No problem. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it a go. I've set it to 1080-30, because I'm gonna be streaming Astral Chain at uh, 720 so I'll just scale down a bit. Um, and I'll be using the X230, and we'll see how it goes. I don't expect it to be perfect, because it is a low-end machine that I'm gonna be using it on, but so far, it's a lot better than a lot of the other Linux capture cards I've tried, and whilst it isn't as cheap as some of the other ones, it does have Pass through strips HDCP, um, you know, it's basically a cam link, an Elgato cam link on steroids. That's what um, UVC capture cards are the Elgato cam link, the thing that people buy for you know, like a hundred pounds to plug their DSLRs or their camcorders into for their streams. It's just a UVC capture card, that's all it is, and that's what that little thing is and what uh, a lot of the other cards I try and use are so just non-branded well kind of should be just as good right. I'm, I'm, yeah uh, today's been pretty good has been good and I understand that a large chunk of today has been dominated by um, a capture card <laughs> but I mean this is all I've done you know I've took the dog out Hang out with Venky for a bit. Hang out with my mum for a bit. And then I streamed. I've just tested it on a stream. I'm pleased with this. I am pretty pleased with this. Uh, how to organise the thoughts. Uh, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's expensive. It's like, like I said, it's about £145, but... I was looking at it, if you wanted to save a bit of cash and go for like the, the £9,900 kind of Linux alternative, you're still going to find yourself spending extra money on an HDMI splitter. If you want to uh, strip HDCP, then you have to go out of your way to find one that will do that, a splitter. You'll have to buy um, extra HDMI cables. And at that point, you probably spent another 20 quid. 30 quid, so you've got, you'd turn the £100 card into a £120 card. That little bit of extra cash, you might as well go convenience. And also, looking inside the box, this comes with all the cables to connect up to your phone. So you could capture video from a console or any HDMI source, like a DSLR or something like that, with your, you can capture it with your phone. So if your phone, if a, like a streaming app on your phone has the ability to change, um, to choose which camera you, you use, you could in theory connect up like a Panasonic GH5 
uh, Sony A7 uh, R Mark III or A7S III or whatever it is, the one that sees the S is the one that sees really well in low light. Imagine having one of those on a tripod, and you're like, oh, "Fuck, man, I could do this. I could, I could do a live stream right now." And you just hit the button, connect it up to your phone, connect the connect the HDMI cable up, connect the 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 Clone Reliance um, 4K P up to your phone. Bam! Super sharp, crystal quality, like crystal clear, high quality video from uh, from a mobile stream. That's pretty rad. The idea being that. I understand you can buy, you could go the cheaper route, like what DeWald did, and buy, because um, DeWald went and bought a um, Live Gamer Portable, and have media Live Gamer Portable Lite, which go between, what, say 60 and 100 quid. They're good cards. They don't have as much range as this. This will do 1080, 60. Um, but you know the the live gamer will only do 1080 30, 720 60, but that's plenty good enough in the grand scheme for like a live stream or just capturing random footage. It's good enough, but it only works on Windows. I think they might have had some software for Mac, uh, but I, I I can't remember now. But I'm pretty sure it's you know usually only really used on Windows. A hundred bucks for a card that only works on Windows. And same with the Elgatos. I've got the higher end Elgatos. But they only work on Windows and Mac. Good cards. But then, why not do something like this that will give you sufficient quality, good enough quality, and work on everything and your phone? Um, so in testing, it came out pretty much the same as this. I did have some minor kind of frame rate issues, but I did set the card to 30 frames a second, which I don't normally do. I normally say the cards will recognize a 60 hertz signal, a 60 frame signal going to the TV. Um, and then I let the software, like OBS or XSplit or, or whatever, I let that re-encode dropping the frames down to 30 so let it have the raw footage instead I let this decide how it wanted to drop 30 of those frames um, and turn it into a turn a 60 frame signal into or a 60 hertz signal into a 30 hertz signal or a 30 frame signal um, that could have been it like I mean literally it was just a couple of times in the stream it looked like we were running at like 25 frames a second or 20 frames a second rather than than uh, 30 but it should also be noted that I had it tied to the X230 laptop, a laptop from 2013. Um, it's a gutless machine. So I've had issues with these on lower end machines too. So I'm not, I'm not going to knock it at all. Goodbye. I'm going to keep it. I think that's. I think it's worth it for the for the convenience of just being able to plug in a, a USB A to C cable and two HDMI cables. I'm cool. Rather than having to carry around extra splitters and wires and all that kind of stuff, I'm cool. Plus strips HDCP. Plus connects to your phone. Um, it's 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 worth it. I will try again tomorrow. Um, with the card set to 108060 and then let software downscale like I do for these. But regardless, no one complained during my stream. I streamed for a good three, three and a half hours. Um, it looked plenty good enough, with the exception of the few kind of lower frame rate sections. But it was, you know, it was fine. It was fine. The video was decent, the audio was decent, the colors were decent. It's way better than any of the other cards that I've used that work on Linux. Well, other than, as I say, these. Um, so that's... If you're looking for one, I'd say go for that one. That one I can guarantee will work. That'll work. And on gutless hardware. So I reckon with a bit more tweaking I could get that, that gone solid. I understand some people would be, they're brand loyal, they'd want to go Elgato, Avermedia, um, Haporg, and I've got all those too. But honestly, these days, why not just go for a universal device? It doesn't have the name brand clout, it doesn't have the sponsorship deals behind it, but 
it does the job, and I reckon if you put them side by side, most people wouldn't know the difference. I haven't checked, like, um, like done any A-B comparisons for, like, sharpening uh, effects or anything like that. Just raw, looking at two small 720p 30 clips, and going, yep, yep, colors are pretty good, yep, probably colors are pretty close, frame rate's there pretty much, we're good. That's it. That's it. Um, there could be there could be a frame rate issue with it, maybe. Um, but if you look at the requirements for these cards, I'm running under on both. So I reckon if I hooked them up to the machine upstairs that I'd usually use for streaming, that will do 1080 60, they'd probably have a better chance. But yeah. Now, um, I'm just gonna lie and wait for Inky to come home from work. I hope she has an alright night tonight. And then just gonna... I'm gonna go and have a cake and then pass out, I think. I'm gonna become a right fat bastard and, and pass out. It's been good to hang out with people today. The stream was fun. The game hasn't ended. It's not... Apparently I've got another good few hours left to go. Um, it's fun. It's predictable, but I'm I'm pretty good at predicting plot lines and games, so Astral Chain, still very fun. It's probably now on my top six list of most played games on Nintendo Switch. And if it ain't, it will be by the time I finish the finish the game. So I hope you're well. And I'll see you all with a bit of luck tomorrow. Fuck brand loyalty. Get the products that work for you. <laughs> Quick additional. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. How's your cake? Cake right. Good. Well. Okay, first things first. This is completely unimportant, but it was the last thing I was talking about. Capture card, tweak settings, time to do 108060 rather than 108030, and then uh, having the software redo the frame rate rather than capture card. Smoother. I don't know if that'll spine out all the issues. Most importantly though, you, home. I'm plastered. Pass the course. Pass the course. Congratulations! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bye.